Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about few very important questions and answers that has been continuously asked to the people who are going for the software testing interviews. So let me share my screen. So one of the frequently asked interview question is what is the sequence of Git commands to resolve merge conflict? Now, many of you who are doing automation testing, you might be using Git, you might be using Bitbucket, and it becomes very important that you should be able to answer these questions. Many a times we do such kind of work in our day to day routine, but we are unable to explain. We are unable to explain them the flow in an interview. So if such kind of question is asked to you, what is the sequence of Git commands to resolve merge conflict? So before going to the question, I'll also tell you this question has been asked in multiple companies like Capgemini, then ADP, then you have uh, TCS, Deloitte. These kind of questions you would get for sure, whether it's a service-based company or it's a product-based company. So here, the sequence of the Git commands to resolve the merge conflict would be you have to identify the conflict first. Then you'll be opening the conflicted file. You'll resolve the conflict file. You'll stage those changes, right? Then you'll complete the merge. You'll review the commit message. You'll verify the merge. And at the end, you will be pushing the changes. So such would be the flow of the Git commands if you are getting any kind of merge conflict. This is one of the important question. Uh, and one more important question is if few test cases are failing and you have released the very next day, what would be your course of action? So such kind of question can also be asked, especially in the manager around. So what I have done is let me showcase this document to you once. So I have consolidated the managerial as well as the technical interview questions that you can get. So this is a single shot document which you would be getting. So let me share that document link. So this is one of the digital product that we have created. It covers such kind of important interview questions along with the answers for people who are going for interviews with an experience of two plus, three plus years of experience, four plus years of experience, such kind of questions you might get. This document is not for freshers, right? But it would be very much useful for the people who are going for an interviews with an experience. So if you can see, we have covered 100 plus questions and answers in this digital product. And these are all the companies, Capgemini, Nalasha Technologies, Bridgestone, ADP, SNP Global, Solitera Solutions. So in all these companies, you can expect you have got these particular questions. So there are many of my subscribers who are giving interviews and they'll be sharing questions with me. So what I have done is I have consolidated all these questions and I have come up with the answers. So it's a kind of a question bank that you can avail. And as today and tomorrow, as tomorrow we would be celebrating International Yoga Day. So I have applied a discount coupon code to this particular product. So you would be able to avail this product at 20% off. So the original price, is reduced by 20% and you can avail this product. So I'll be putting the link of this particular product in the comment section of the video. So it becomes very important for you if you are preparing for interviews and you are looking for any kind of questions along with answers, then you can actually use this product. Now, one more question, which I would like to showcase to you. So if few test cases fail and you have released next day, what would be the course of action? So let's say it might happen in our day-to-day -day projects. It might happen in when you are working in the companies, but you might not be aware of such kind of situation. Then how you need to answer is you will be identifying the root cause. So the very first thing is to go for root cause analysis. What is the cause of that failure? What is the cause of that defect? Why this defect is coming? What were the changes that were done because of that it got triggered or any recent code that has been pushed into the application? or software that it has got this issue so that you can identify then prioritize the fixes so you'll be prioritizing the fixing that needs to be done then you'll be fixing the failures so once the fixes has been done you would col collaborate you'll coordinate with the development team you'll get those things fixed and then you will test it at maybe at the dev environment if it is possible or you might do the testing in the 
test environment itself. So you have to collaborate with developers, other testers, other team members who are doing kind of an integration testing. You'll be rerunning your failed test cases in this case. Right. Then you'll also validate that all the things have been covered. If the fix is being done properly, thoroughly, the testing you would do. And you would also see that all the impacted areas are also has been tested. You'll do a kind of a regression testing as well. You'll communicate the status to your team leads or to your QA managers, test managers, and you'll also be coming up with some decision making things or with some kind of a discussion, maybe in the retrospective meeting that can be taken care that how this defect got missed earlier and how it could have been fixed. So what steps you would take from both from the development as well as from the testing team side? how to catch such kind of defects early and how did these defects got missed by the developer development team as well as why it was not being you uh, taken care in the unit testing as well so those kind of things you can discuss okay then under what situation will you contact your team lead so there are people like two years three years of experience they don't know when to contact how to contact what to speak to them so for them also, these kind of questions, answers can be helpful to them. Okay. Then what is the difference between authorization and authentication? So these kind of questions can also be asked to you. Okay. Let's take one more question. There is an application with payment option. What are the different types of testing you will perform? Explain different scenarios. So different types of testing that you can perform here. So one is functional testing. You can go for error handling. You can go for integration testing. You can go for security testing. You can go for usability testing, right? It becomes very important that whenever you get these kind of questions now, see, whenever you are going into the interviews, they'll see your CV. If you have mentioned e-commerce domain, if you have mentioned investment banking, any kind of financial domain, they will definitely ask you such kind of questions which are related to the payment things, right? So you should be prepared for such kind of questions. Right. Then this is one of the common question you might get. What is the difference between regression testing and retesting? How to perform parallel testing in TestNG with proper syntax so you can tell, okay, you have the uh, parallel attribute itself available. You can use it in TestNG. You can utilize it for test methods. You can apply it for classes. And this is how the syntax would be there. And accordingly, the number of instances for automation would get open. So as you can see, what is, why do we use git stash? What is git stash? How to resolve conflicts in a pull from the master branch? So all the type of questions that the subscribers have got in this particular year itself, 2024, those have been covered. If you are looking for a job in the field of software testing, and trust me, the job market has opened for the experienced people. So if you are having two plus years of experience, a lot of job opportunities will be there. And there's one more video that I'm going to add today, which is related to freshers job opportunities. So for freshers also, the market has opened now. So I'll be telling you about those opportunities as well. But if you're an experienced people, then you can utilize this product. It is available at 20% discount today and tomorrow due to the International Yoga Day. And you can avail this digital product at and discount rate, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.